Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing something a little bit different and I'll be unboxing many Kinder Surprise lollies. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we'll start with the awesome one first, Mr. Bunny. And it says that it contains a surprise. So that's cool. Oh look, it's a product of Australia. Yay, we make something delicious. Ooh, hello Maddie, what for you? Okay, Papa is getting off my lap. Don't want any chocolate because it's actually poisonous for dogs. Alright, time to unwrap and see what this thing looks like. Oh, he's actually got features and details that kind of match the front, sort of. Oh no, he's deaf! I bought a broken bunny, ripped off! Waste not, want not. Oh, num num num. Alright, breaking this sucker open to reveal the ridiculously small toy compared to the size of the chocolate. Okay. Look at this, it's even smaller than the actual surprise egg on the front. Ripped off. Okay, so this looks like um, a girl. A Barbie or something maybe? So we've got some junk and some stickers. Don't look like they actually go on the doll though. Um, some instructions and a list of all the different ones you can collect, I suppose. Alright, let's stick her together. Because who needs instructions? This can't be too hard. See? Mission complete. One assembled doll and a um, template thing. I guess you draw with it or something. Oh, it's got holes, you can stick her on it too, I guess. Doesn't like the stickers go on it though, so I think it's just like an extra feature. Okay, let's open the big sucker. This is the one that I was excited about. It's like the size of my whole hand. Oh my god. You know, I actually heard that these surprise eggs were illegal or banned in America. All I've got to say about that is ha 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 Oh, you're missing out. And because this is actually a miniature channel, or at least features most miniature things, I realise I should probably be a bit more civilised when I'm opening these and use my miniature cutlery. Oh my god, this is actually tougher than it looks. Eesh. Nope, too hard basket. How about I just use what I was born with? Ah, that's better. Holy mackerel, look at the size of that surprise egg. I'm glad I'm not disappointed like the bunny. Check out how soft and flexible this egg is now with the summer heat. Hmm, husband will pay for that one later. Tastes good though. Alright, let's see what we've got in this one. A Barbie, obviously I guess, because it was a Barbie egg. And she's got stickers and junk. A brush thingy. As well as a stand, I guess? Alright, 
back instructions. Oh look, assembly instructions. Surely it can't be that hard. Alright, let's see what she looks like. She's actually fairly well made and reasonably solid, except for this ponytail thing at the back with real synthetic hair or something. That I don't like, but otherwise she's pretty cool. Well, moving right along, I still have quite a few more left to open. So let's start with these ones that have the solid wrapping on them. You'll see what I mean later in the video. There's two types. There's these ones with the whole wrapped kind of thing with the seal around the edge, and ones that are more of your traditional chocolate egg kind of wrapping. Okay, let's see what we've got in the little ones. It's a dog bed or something. Okay, it's a bunny in a basket. A petrified bunny in a basket. That's a little disturbing, but I suppose that's okay for a child's toy. Alright, next one. It's a, um, oh, a ring and a keyring in one. Okay. Let's see, we got, ooh, stickers. Okay, this is worth it. I love stickers. And it comes with the sticker paper thing. I guess you stick it to them. It's got some facts about it. And it's double-sided as well. Alright, let's check out these stickers. They're actually pretty good quality by the looks. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's soft. That's really weird. It's like, um, let me see if I can shine some light on this for you. It's a uh, furry or something. I guess it's meant to make it feel like the actual animal. That's kind of cool. Whoa, look out! Runaway Easter eggs. And there's also a tiger thing. I don't, I don't like that one. Ooh, an eagle. That does not feel like feathers at all. It's just lumpy plastic. Okay, that's strange. Let's see what else. We've got a snake. Ooh. Okay, sure, there's a plasticky feel to this one, but it's still kind of snake-like. I like that one. That one's cool. And we've got a non-furry dingo. A naked dingo, I suppose. It's still pretty good for a sticker, though. And we've got a... What is this? It's a panther thing? But it's got leopard spots. What's a... A panther with leopard spots? What? Alright guys, can you tell me what cat this is? This is weird. It's only got spots on its leg. And there's a buffalo thing. It was kind of cute. Look at his nose. And we've got a pair of lions. Pretty good quality stickers actually. Except for that um, weird cat Thingy. You really have to tell me what that is. That's really bizarre. Let's have a look at the paper that it came with. Maybe it tells me what it's what it's meant to be. Not on this side. Oh, here we go. No name. Just says that it's 70 kilos. It's two meters in length. It eats with a knife and fork and it prefers raw steak. So I have no idea what that is. Leave a comment below and tell me what kind of cat that is because it's weird. Alright, next one. And it's a flat bottomed Barbie. She's come with a few different outfits. Like 
three different types. <laughs> and a paper handbag that is really well crafted. Alright, Flat Bum Barbie is assembled and we we'll need to put some clothes on her. Well, it's not the worst toy I've gotten out of Kinder Surprises. Definitely beats the bunny in the basket. That poor thing looks petrified. Okay, these were the ones that I was talking about earlier where they've got that traditional wrapping instead of the hard stuff. So let's see what these ones have. I've got a few of these. Ooh, it's an Elsa! A little Elsa, that's cute! Oh, she's building a snowman, I think. Yes, yeah, she is. She's starting to build Olaf. Oh, and she's really well made, actually. Don't mind the camera shaking. That's my husband pacing around, waiting for me to give him chocolate. Oh, she's cute. Okay, next one. This looks like Sven. Yep, definitely Sven. Oh, what a cutie. I like this one. Look at his little hair. Oh, I think it's one of the trolls. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's Pabby. Cape and fluffy mane and everything. There's another well-made toy. And now for our lucky last egg. Oh, it's an Elsa! Another Elsa! But a grown-up Elsa with a cape, I believe. Yep. <laughs> An angry Elsa. <laughs> A very angry Elsa. I have to fix her face and repaint it or something. And probably fix the cape a bit better so it's um, glued and less tucked under her arms. That's a little weird. Alright, here's the comparison for you. Adorable Elsa and angry Elsa, which Looks like she only has one pupil. But that's okay, I'll fix that. And Sven's got a really well painted face as well. And so does the troll. It's just Angry Elsa's a little strange. I'll fix her face in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed my first unboxing video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye!